let's assume our listeners are you know relatively very familiar with the Bitcoin protocol. Um, how would you explain uh, Mimblewimble to them and you know, and kind of explain what's going on here? Right. Okay. Well, I, I think it's rather than just kind of jumping in, into the mechanics of it, we should we should say what what the goals of it are, um, and that would be to yeah, provide absolutely. to provide um, what I call very good privacy um, intrinsic to the blockchain. So you know, on some other other coins that may have been may have been originally derived from Bitcoin, um, the privacy would, would kind of be bolted on in certain ways. Um, like so, you know, other coins like Monero would kind of, kind of have a few different ways, but the core of the chain itself would kind of be the, the classic Bitcoin chain, as in a, a ledger of transactions going back forever. With the Mimblewimble protocol, you have the 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 privacy built right into the core level. So if I put if I perform a transaction, what ends up on the chain is is basically it looks like random data, and this um, the way this is done also allows um, some other interesting properties to come out of there, such as um, a, a, a positive effect on the transaction size or on the chain size. It ends up, you end up getting a, a much the same privacy as other coins with a much greatly reduced um, storage space requirements, um, as well as some other kind of nifty features that add onto it, all of which kind of add together to um, enhance privacy without kind of the, the bloat that you may get in some other chains. So that's kind of fundamentally what, what Mimblewimble itself is about.